Love Monster and a Perfect Present by Rachel Bright. This monster thinks this monster is the most perfect monster in the world. Hello, love monster. Yes, they are the bestest of friends. Ah, monsters. They spend each and every day together, sometimes doing fun stuff outside, sometimes doing fun stuff inside, and sometimes doing nothing at all. But there is one day in Cutesville where these particular monsters live that is different from all the others. A very special day, in fact, where the streets are filled with lights, the air is filled with music, and the whole town gets super excited. Yes, once a year in Cutesville, it's present day. When everyone gives a lovely someone something lovely, oh my goodness, to show how special they are. It's pretty much the best day ever. Wow, what can it be for me? So why does this monster look so worried? Well, this year, Love Monster wanted to give a certain someone something perfect. The most perfect present in the world. But finding such a thing is not easy. Hmm. It was time to think very hard and to go shopping. And uh, the shops were full of hundreds of wonderful, shinyful things. Love Monster was sure he'd come to the right place. But as it turned out, wonderful, shiny things can be very expensive. Very expensive indeed. There just wasn't enough in his saving up jar. Oh dear, poor monster. What was he to do? It was almost present day and there was only one thing worse than a not perfect present. And that was no present at all. Love Monster worried all the way home. He had nothing. Nothing to show his perfect monster how much he cared. But that was when it hit him. Perhaps he had everything he needed. He had paints and glitter. He had some wood and some glue. And most important of all, he had an idea. There was a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. He worked all night until the sun came up and when present day arrived, so did the most perfect monster in the world. And whew, love monster did have something to give, something to be very proud of. You see, sometimes the perfect present doesn't have to cost very much to mean absolutely everything.